Uh, it's the sequel to God of War 1. We're basically picking up exactly where we left off in the first game. So story-wise, you've just killed Ares, Athena's made you the God of War, and now you're kind of dealing with what it's like to live with uh, sort of petty, backstabbing gods. And we kind of put Kratos on a journey based upon that theory. Uh, the second game, a lot of new stuff that we're integrating into this. What we're doing is we're maintaining the same base that we had for the first game. So we're not trying to reinvent the wheel, we're not throwing out our combat system. Everything is the same solid thing you played in the first game. But what we're doing is adding everything on top of that. Creating more and more layers on top of that while still maintaining that accessible kind of pick up and play style controls. Uh, we're adding things like grappling. So Kratos will be able to use the chain blades to navigate through the world. Which really adds a dynamic to his platforming abilities. We're adding all new weapons that are going to be able to swap in mid-combo, all new magics from new benefactors. Instead of the gods, somebody else is helping out Kratos in this one. Um, we're actually adding a ton of different stuff from sort of relics, so uh, Icarus wings. You'll actually fight Icarus and take the wings from him, so it's very exciting stuff that we're doing. We haven't announced any of that stuff yet. Uh, we're keeping a pretty tight lip on that, but we the cool thing about working on a sequel to this game is that the first one was received well by so many people that we really had an opportunity to get people who we wouldn't normally have been able to reach out to that were like, hey man, like one of these guys was an avid player of the game and was really excited just to be associated with it. And a couple of the other ones, we were able to reach out to these guys solely because God of War 1 was so successful. So we're really going to have, a, I think, a really solid cast for the story to be told. But uh, the main thing is, it, is it all kind of serves and fits the story. You know, that's where our real big push is. Every time we make a game, we kind of think of it as its own singular unit. Even though we lay little seeds for future games, uh, I know I personally would like to see it continue on through many games. Uh, Dave and I have had many discussions about kind of the length and the breadth of the story. In our minds, it kind of could live as a trilogy, but there's so much more to this universe and this franchise that I really think it could continue going. You know, the sad thing is, I've been in and out of meetings all day, so I haven't been able to hear too much. But the limited amount of stuff I've heard back, people are really excited about it. Uh, but anyways, Ed Boon, who created Mortal Kombat, was taking a look at the game and said that he wanted to, to meet me and have a conversation. So that was cool. Like As a kid, I played the shit out of Mortal Kombat. I was always about that. So it was great to have this guy who I idolized say, yeah, he wanted to meet me. So that was a big piece of feedback for me. But on the show floor, I did a couple of times I went behind people in a crowd and was like, hey, how does the game look? You know, acting like nobody knows who I am anyway. And they were like, man, it's awesome. It looks great, man. I think it's going to be a huge game. So that kind of stuff is really, really inspiring to hear, especially after the insane hours we put in over the last three weeks.